welcome back viewers today we will be testing the tke indicator but before we do if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that you need to go do that now here at the academy of forex we are building the best trading system possible as a team and as a team we will all profit from it when we are done you can find a link to the first video down below in the description and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now there is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators we also would like to introduce our patreon exclusive discord channel as a nine dollar patreon you will be invited to join an exclusive discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the TKE indicator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So, to date, we have tested 266 indicators. And out of those 266 indicators, 107 of them have been winners. Which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 107 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, so as I said, today's indicator is the TKE indicator. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen. Basically, it is a oscillating line and it is made up of um, some of the most common uh, oscillators that you can think of, stochastic, RSI, so on. There's a whole list of them. Uh, and, and then they are, um, you know, it's, it's a specific calculation off of those oscillators. You can go to the indicator page and read a little bit more about it if you're interested in knowing more about how exactly it is calculated. The, uh, the creator of the indicator said that when it crosses up above 20, you would take long positions. And when it crosses down below the uh, 80, you would take short positions. So very similar to kind of like the RSI. Like I said, when it crosses up above the blue line, so it goes down and then crosses back up above the blue line, that is a signal to go long. When it goes up above and then crosses back down below the red line, that is a signal to go short. And so let's go ahead and get on with it here and hopefully I will not miss or screw up any signals. I don't know why I have been on a uh on a uh kick here of missing signals let's see so we get across right yep we get across up above right 
there on that one. And even though it breaks down back below, that's not a reversible signal. So we would still be in this and we would have gotten to take profit. So, all right, continue on with it here. Like I was saying, I don't know why I've lately been on this kick where I've been missing and messing up signals. I, I'm not sure exactly, not sure exactly what is happening there. I apologize though. So far, even though it changes the, um, even though it changes the, uh, the win rate slightly so far, it hasn't changed any from a losing indicator to a winning indicator or vice versa. And so I think since I started doing shorter videos, I try to get things in as quick as I can. So I think sometimes that might cause a little bit of rushing and uh, missing signals. So I apologize for that. Also, I'm feeling a little under the weather. And so my voice is rather nasally and not quite itself. So... If it sounds like I have plugs in my nose, that is why. All right, let's see here. So you pick up a short over here on this side. Unfortunately, that spikes up right there, taking us out. And then it takes off back down in the original direction. Let's see. Trying to be mindful here. One of the YouTube viewers out there add and he likes to I, I'm assuming it's a he excuse me if I'm incorrect in that but they like to uh, like to call me out <laughs> when I mess up these signals uh, I don't uh, it's not intentional I promise but I do appreciate um, you know everybody watching the videos and making sure that I am doing things correctly. So the signal on this one actually took place right here on that candle. And so even though it spiked up, it would have been the entry would have been on this red candle here as it immediately turns around and drops out on us. So that would have stopped us out, unfortunately. Looks like we get a small blip up above right here and then almost immediately comes down and stops us out there then we get another cross up above there that one also would have stopped us out let's see Yep, right there on that one. So it then crosses back up above right here on this one. And it looks like that one might stop us out as well. Actually, let me measure that out. Yeah, it had stopped us out there, unfortunately. I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, pick it up back up when we get a little bit closer to the end of the year and uh, yeah when uh, cut some of the length out of this video so all right let's see I am almost to the end of the year now looks like we only get one more signal right there when the uh, when the pairs really moving this indicator does a really decent job of of catching that momentum so I'm interested in seeing what it was able to achieve let's see yeah we are yep out of the year right there me get everything scrunched in here count them out so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So we have 25 signals altogether. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 winning trades. 
So unfortunately, that is not going to meet the 60% criteria that we are looking for. Uh, this indicator is rather interesting. Like I said, when the momentum is there, it definitely seems like it, uh, it catches it. Sometimes a little early in the move. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a shame. It seemed like there were instances where it did really well and then other times that it did not so well. So for now it's going to go on the no list and we'll move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already like this video, share this video, comment below and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video so that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing also there is a link down below to join our discord server which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related there is also a link down below to trading view and if you use that link to trading view to sign up for an account you will save a little bit of money and lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.